This video tutorial will guide you on how to use the patient tracker. This tool will help you determine the status of a patient who is currently scheduled for an office visit on the current calendar date. To access the patient tracker, you can go to Tools, Patient Tracker. You also have the Tracker button at the top toolbar. You can also access the tracker within the calendar using the patient tracking button. When you first open the patient tracker, only the patients that have been checked in will be displayed. You will notice that at the top of the window, you will see a box that has been checked off where it indicates to show only the checked in patients. The priority column allows you to change the order in which the appointments are listed in the patient tracker. The list will be sorted initially by appointment time but you can assign a priority number to an appointment as you wish. Once you do, the list will be resorted and each appointment will be assigned a priority number in increments of 10. An appointment's priority can also be changed by selecting its record and clicking the up and down buttons at the bottom of the window. The second column in the patient tracker is the status column. Here, initially, all of our statuses will be checked in, but once your patient is done or if you need to update the status of the appointment at any time, you can use the drop-down to check them out. Once you check them out, they will be removed from the list. The next column is the patient ID number. You will also see a column for balance, so this will display any balances that the patient may currently have. You will see the patient name, and the office area. So throughout the patient's visit, you can update the exam room here under the office area column. So if they're in the exam room, over at the optician's desk, or at the waiting area, you can indicate that here using this drop-down. If you'd like to edit the office area drop-down list, you can add or remove as you wish by going to File, Setup, Categories. Under the office area category group, you can add using the add button on the right. So if you want to add an exam room too, let's say, you can. If you want to delete the waiting area, you can just highlight the line and select delete. You can also see the time the patient checked in, the time of their appointment, their appointment or exam type, what physician they're coming in to see for the day, if a dilation has been performed, the time elapsed since the patient was dilated will appear under the elapsed dilation time column. You will also be able to see how late the patient is to their appointment in minutes and how long the patient has been in the office. This concludes this video tutorial on the patient tracker. You can access this video and others at support.myvisionexpress.com.